right now on our Fox Sports Hotline, we have Darren, the Detroit superstar Crookshank on the line. He is a UFC lightweight taking on Eric Koch. That comes up this weekend, May 10th, UFC Fight Night Cincinnati, and he is on the main card on Fox Sports 1. Darren, thank you so much for joining the show. You know what? Thanks for having me on the show today. Really appreciate it, man. I mean, Eric Koch, this is a huge fight. This is going to be his second fight here in the lightweight division, and, and the both of you are coming off of pretty, pretty key wins for yourselves. I mean, would this at all surprise you if this was not a stand-up war? Oh, no. I mean, you know, both our backgrounds are in striking, and I feel like we both uh, are similar fighters as we like to put on a show. And, you know, that's what we're going to go out there and do. And you mentioned that background at the kickboxing and what you're capable of. I mean, your family, your mother was a professional in the art before you even stepped onto the scene. And now here you are, and you're keeping the family name going inside the octagon. Uh, how many weapons would you say you have in your arsenal that we haven't seen yet? I mean, you finished your last fight with that amazing spinning heel kick, and then you came back to follow it up with punches. But how much more have we not seen of you yet? I'm actually working on on new things and developing you know my te- my techniques better. So every time you see me, you should see a whole different fighter. You should see a, a better fighter each time, and that's what I'm trying to bring to the table. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, Eric, as we mentioned, this is the second fight in the lightweight division. He was a standout in the featherweight division, but the lightweight division, as we know, is much more stacked. Um, this is pretty much the kind of fight that'll have a lot of attention on it. How important is it to you to really stand out and prove that you're the next guy to keep an eye on here in the lightweight division? I mean, obviously, it's my next fight, so it's my most important fight. And it's going to be my toughest fight of my career. So I have to go out there and be at my best. And if I'm at my best, nobody can beat me. This is going to be a great fight for the fans. Well, Heidi was talking about your stand-up game and how, how beautiful it is to watch and really such an, a dynamic stand-up game. But you, you also have a wrestling background that not a lot of people know about. Yeah, I actually wrestled all four years of college. I took second my sophomore year in junior college. Uh, with the Nationals all four years. And, and yeah, a lot of people don't know that I do have a good double leg. <laughs> but, uh, you know, sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. You know, maybe I'll put him on his butt a couple times this, uh, this fight. Well, one of the things that I've noticed about your wrestling game, and I, I, at least when I watch your fight, you use it mostly to keep the fight standing. Your takedown defense is really, really good. Um, but what about your ground game? I mean, you say you may take him down and double leg him. You know, we know your wrestling's good, but what about your jiu-jitsu? Well, I train at Detroit Jiu-Jitsu Academy in Detroit, Michigan. And as far as Michigan, they are the best camp to go to. So uh, I train with some, some pretty classy guys there, and I feel like I can hold my own with anybody on the ground. Yeah. Now, I, um, I was watching your Ultimate Fighter uh, audition tape. I thought it was, uh, was quite interesting, quite, uh, quite entertaining. Y- you ever going to bring that haircut back, though, man, that, little, that mohawk? Oh, the, the Mohawk, yeah. Yeah, you know, when I was up and coming, uh, you know, outside of the UFC, uh, brand new to the sport, you know, I was always a big fan of Chuck Liddell, and, and uh, you know, I wanted to support him by throwing up the Mohawk and knocking people out. <laughs> well, you were also at a, at one time known as devastating Darren Crookshank, and now it's the Detroit superstar. Why the change? Actually, like, Every amateur fight I had, the the announcers would always change my name. Like it was something different every single time. You know, I never, I never gave myself a name. Um, and then when I fought uh, King of the Cage uh, in Detroit, they threw it up there on the radio. Hey, Detroit superstar Darren Crookshank's fighting, blah blah blah, and it just stuck from there. Uh, it's hey, it it works. It definitely does. But I need you to tell me about a, a different Darren Crookshank, and that's. Darren Crookshank, the zombie hunter. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I've always been a, uh, a zombie hunting uh, enthusiast. And I started uh, doing three-gun matches last summer. So I've gotten into uh, the shooting sport. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, talk like that in those sports. You know, it's practice, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I came out with a show, How to Kill Zombies with Darren Crookshank. 
Uh, I haven't done a video in a good year, so I do need to put a new one up. So maybe I'll bring on some special guests from the UFC and and, uh, do a great show. Now, when you're here in Vegas, have you ever gone to the zombie apocalypse store? I've been there. You've been there. Yeah, you saw. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> I I actually did some shopping there last weekend. I, I I'm with you, man. I'm getting prepared. There, those that uh that apocalypse is coming, my friend. Hey, it could happen. You got to be ready. Uh, speaking of special guests, you might bring along. Uh, how about a uh, Silky Johnson? I noticed that you've been uh, bringing him up a lot on Twitter lately. Dave Chappelle's show, of course, one of the best characters that he had. Uh, you said it's kind of how you get psyched for a fight. Uh, I thought that was pretty hilarious that you brought that up and that the UFC has actually been responding to it with you on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's catching on. It, it, I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> it definitely is. I mean... Uh, I think that you've got a, a lot of stuff here to really bring out a bit for people to get to know about you. Uh, you know, um, I was thinking about some of the past fights that you've had and some of the different people that you train along with. You know, you mentioned uh, the was it Detroit Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy that you train at? Yeah, Detroit Jiu Jitsu Academy. I-, I was wondering where else do you train? I was curious about who maybe some of the sparring partners you had, and maybe who you brought in to somewhat emulate what Eric does. Well, as you know, as Michigan as as a, as a whole, we uh, you know we we don't have any big mecca gyms where everybody goes. So actually, me and two of my original training partners opened up a gym. Uh, I would say seven months ago, and we named it Michigan, uh, Michigan Top Team. It's in Dearborn, Michigan. It's actually connected to Detroit, uh, Detroit Jiu Jitsu Academy. And I'm, you know, me and my two partners, we're trying to build a gym in Michigan so that the Michigan fighters that do make it at the UFC level don't have to leave to go and get that right training. And so we're all staying there, and that's where I train 100%. Have you and you you've brought no have you brought anybody else in or is this the normal crew that you always train with? Yep, normal crew I always train with. They all you know watch his fights, fight you know try to fight with me. I have a lot of softballs. I have a lot of guys that uh, you know wear a kickboxing gym anyway, so it's uh, not like I have to go far to for somebody to try to kick me in the face. Uh, I've heard that uh, also after this fight that you're going on a, a tour for the troops uh, over to the Middle East with some other fighters. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, I'm very excited to do that. I've actually signed up for uh, two of them, and they both were canceled. Um, so I'm pretty excited that this one's actually going through. I'm going on, uh, you know, I think I'm going to the Middle East to, to meet the troops, and I think I'm pretty sure I'll be able to grapple with them, uh, you know, do seminars or whatever. Uh, hopefully I get to go on some kind of cool mission and shoot stuff. I don't know. That'd be sweet. <laughs> Got to take some of your zombie apocalypse stuff. You can check most of the stuff that they sell at the store, except for the flare guns. <laughs> yeah, right. It, it, it's it's absolutely hilarious. Darren, my brother was out here this past weekend. Uh, you know, we went to the zombie apocalypse store, and he had to check before he got on the plane with all of the things that he could take with him. And it is unbelievable what you can actually take on a plane these days. Kind of scary. Like he got everything he bought. He was able to get back on the plane with. Dude walked out of the store with lots of machetes. <laughs> yeah, I actually bought a taser flashlight thing there. Um, and I just, I put it on, I didn't carry it on the plane, but I, I put it in my, my luggage and it made it back. They did check my luggage. So. <laughs> well, let me, let me ask you a question. You're, you're obviously a zombie fan. What's your favorite zombie movie? Um, that's, that's a, that's a tough one because there's so many great ones out there. But, you know, I like, uh, you know, I have to say zombie world, you know, zombie world. Um, well, let me, all right, here, this makes it easier. Fast zombies or slow zombies? <laughs> Ooh, you know, I like the comedic part of, of uh, <laughs> you know, the zombie thing. So I would say the slow zombies that for some reason catch up to you, but they're really slow, you know? Like Return of the Living Dead comedy type zombie. Yeah, yeah. Dig it. Dig it big time. Like it, Darren. I was thinking more of that one with the Shaun of the Dead in, in that respect, where the Shaun of the Dead guy, you know, they're sitting on the couch and they're throwing like all their their, their uh, the old records game. at the guy. Yeah, <laughs> the stoner zombie movies. All right, well, 
Darren, thank you again so much for joining us here on the show. We have actually come up here uh, on our last break, so we're going to have to step away. But again, we want to wish you all the best of luck against Eric Koch. Oh, it feels... Yeah, well, I just want to thank you, actually, Darren Crookshank. Personally, want to thank you because you, uh, uh, along with John Lineker, have scored me the most amount of points in counter move and have won me the most amount of money. So a personal thank you to Darren Crookshank. <laughs> Sounds good. Hey guys, thanks for having me, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'm I'll come on anytime. So just hit me up. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Darren. And again, he is fighting Eric Koch, UFC Fight Night 40. That's the Cincinnati card that's going down this Saturday, May 10th. Don't forget to check that out.